Today we are covering Certified Implementation Specialist Service Mapping. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Question is, in service mapping, which one of the following is true? If a target host is already discovered and in the CMDB. Option A. The host will be deleted in the CMDB and a new host record will be created during service mapping discovery. Option B. The host will be immediately rediscovered but only the changes will be updated in the CMDB during service mapping discovery. Option C. The host will be immediately rediscovered and updated in the CMDB during service mapping discovery. Option D. The host will not be rediscovered during service mapping discovery. Correct answer is option B. Next question is, when running service mapping discovery, which of the following represents the root cause of the error? Failed to access target system, access is denied. Option A, SSO authentication error. Option B, CLI permissions error. Option C, applicative permissions error. Option D. Windows authentication error. Correct answer is option A. Next question is which one of the following ECCQ records contains the XML payload returned from the MID server that will be processed by the ServiceNow instance? Option A. Input pending. Option B, input ready. Option C, output pending. Option D, output ready. Correct answer is option D, 